Hey guys, so it's been a while since I've uploaded a YouTube video But I mean a while, like a, you know, two months while Because I've been really busy on doing videos Not been busy, been lazy, sorry Lazy is the word, world, word I don't know how to speak anymore So yeah, so I've been lazy in doing such things So I decided to do a little chit chat with you guys And I've done a question box last May 31st Which is... A while too when I've been really lazy but I'm just picking myself up again so yeah I've done it and some of you guys did submit your questions in the question box so thank you very much for doing this video possible so it just rained and the wind is really nice it's like cold so yeah all right so let's get started <clears throat> So the first question is from Pauline Reyes, hi pal, and she wants to ask How are you holding up in this situation, in this unusual situation? Well, to make my answer short, I am just taking one step at a time Like that Jordan Sparks song And just staying sane And if I go outside, I'm practicing my social distancing and wearing a face mask and yeah so it's really weird the situation because we cannot really go outdoors and enjoy, enjoy enjoy it since there's a pandemic and since we need to help the frontliners so we need to get the cases low and so forth so that's that so how am i holding up i'm just staying sane and just keeping one step at a time and just yeah probably that's my answer <laughs> okay next question it's from Asmarillis hi Bets. so she wants to ask what have you been doing for yourself lately during all this pandemic stay safe I love you well this pandemic I have been doing a lot of binge watching but I have binged watch on RuPaul's Drag Race most of the time and I am now on season 9 so that's that and I just got to say that I love that show so much and my favorite drag queen is Bob the drag queen because first first so yeah I've been doing um, binge watching and taking a top notch on my skincare routine which is kind of takes time and it would take me like 30 minutes to do my evening routine and um, 20 minutes or 25 minutes to do my morning routine so that's that and yeah and also if I'm totally exhausted with like what's happening or the news that I've been watching most of the time I take a break and then just gather myself together and then go out there again and be aware of what's happening because sometimes you need a little break to keep yourself in staying sane so yes next question <laughs> is from Christelle Claudine hi Deli so she made a YouTube video about coming out of your comfort zone or her comfort zone and it's her first youtube video so if you guys want to watch it i'll link it down below so you guys could check it out because she is just starting in her youtube career ish <laughs> and i'm proud of delhi so yeah so my tips would probably if you want to talk about something that you're passionate about go for it if you want to talk about fashion go for it if you want to talk about makeup go for it if you want to talk about social issues that you want us to be aware of then super go for it because that is what we need right now awareness of what is happening and yeah so if you want to talk about something that you're passionate about then go for it did that tip made sense but yeah that's my tip for everyone that is the, or that wants to make a vlog or wants to start in YouTube next question is from 
Hi, Basilio. Hi. So um, she wants to ask mo my most favorite Taylor Swift album. Well, it's not red. It's not red. I know. But it's Speak Now. Because Speak Now has been that album that I was entering my teenage years. And that album that um, became a, like my first concert to attend to. So yeah, Speak Now has been like my my most memorable Taylor Swift album of all time. And that my favorite song of her comes from Speak Now, which is Enchanted. So like this video if you like Enchanted too. So yeah. Speak Now is my favorite album and the next one will be Red. Next question is from GNNXMRNNNNNN. It's from GN. Hi, GN. And she wants to ask, what's the silliest and sweetest dream you had lately? Well, the silliest dream, I would probably leave that on the video. But the sweetest dream is that meeting my special person again. I mean, people in my life again and seeing them seeing their faces and hearing their laughter even though it's just in the dream just it's amazing i mean we talk in video calls and all but it's different when you see them in person and i've been away for like a long time now because of this pandemic so i just really miss home and all of the people that I'm really that I'm really that I really love is back home and yeah I just miss them so much okay next question or yeah I could just text you the silliest dream I had next question is from Agbulas Adeline she wants to ask your message to people suffering physically and mentally from this whole situation. It's a really hard uh, question to answer, but you know, this is some this is the question that we need to really talk about. And if you're suffering physically and um, during this whole situation, like from physical abu abuse, for physical abuse and so on report it talk to your loved ones about it and take a step but if you cannot take a step just talk to your loved ones about it and if you know someone that is suffering from these physical abuses meddle it's best to meddle it's best to put your step forward for it to stop because if you cannot put your step forward for it it's like you're tolerating the abuser's behavior and that's not fair for the victim so meddle and take your step forward in, in saving your friend or the, someone you know like your neighbor and yeah and if you're suffering mentally from this whole situation mentally example like anxiety all I since this situation is really taking a toll in our mental health um i suggest that if you're doing something like a routine maybe switch it up a bit don't do the whole routine every day because it gets really tiring and gets exhausted and so switch it up a bit or if your anxiety is kicking in i suggest in my experience, I write it down and I talk to my loved ones about it. So maybe have a group of friends for you to talk about it. Or maybe you could write it down and all. And the last advice I could give is cry. It's okay to cry. It helps sometimes. But if you're suffering from mental abuse as well, it's the same as physical abuse. If you know someone that is suffering from mental abuses, meddle. And if you are suffering from mental abuse, 
talk to your loved ones about it don't give your abusers an excuse to get away from it so yeah that's to answer your question adding this really hard one so yeah next question is from Agbulos Adeline Steele and she wants to ask Ano na ona itlog o mano? Mm, probably you. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, maybe chicken, cause chicken, cause the egg won't happen if there's no chickens in the world. So I don't know stuff, but comment down below on what you think. Went first, the chicken or the egg? Next question would be from. Yumi Kasem. Well, this is the last question. Um, she wants to ask, what's the most memorable place you've traveled, traveled, traveled to? Well, um, so far, the most memorable place I've traveled to is like every place that I've visited. But most importantly, Spain, because Spain, I've been, you know going around that country by myself so it's really something out of my comfort zone so that's that and yeah i think that's Spain. and my camera camera is low but so i'll make this short before it dies so yeah that's all to answer your questions and thank you guys for submitting it and if you like this video you could like it down below but if you want if you don't want to like it it's okay it's your choice it's your human right right well same as if you want to subscribe too and yeah so thank you guys for this little chit chat with y'all and my camera is dying so i'm just gonna cut this video short so yeah thank you guys for watching i love y'all and take care and wash your hands for 20 seconds and yeah practice social distancing and wear your face mask outside so thank you guys for watching and see you on my next vlog mm.